Welcome back to Don't Flop. We are the foundation about our rap culture in the UK. This is Institution, the celebration of 15 years. Let's get into the next battle. Now this next match up on the card, some of you out there have been waiting about 10 weeks to see it. A lot of you out there have been waiting damn near 10 years to see it again. A decade ago, this concept got brought across our desk, beginning as an absolute joke, but what it transformed into over the years is nothing short of mind-blowing and historic in UK battle rap folklore. So here it is, the one you've all been waiting for, the 10-year anniversary one-off rematch, Shuffle T vs Marlowe, Bad Bars 2. The FAFD. Institution, the 15 year anniversary of Don't Flop Rap Battles. We are here at the main event. Everybody in Oslo, Hackney, make some noise! <laughs> 10 years ago, this year, April 2013, these two came to me and said, uh, we got the idea for a pretty dumb battle. You're probably never gonna be down for it, but if you are, we'd love to give it a go. 10 years and over a million views later, we're back for the rematch. Mess up! As all of you watching out there know, since the two on two they had with A Ward and Loso unfortunately got cancelled so last minute. The original idea was for this to be the best secret battle announcement of all time after Gemini vs Quill. We've had it planned since about April or May. It's such a shame I'll never get to feel that energy. But I know you lot are gas to see it. So let's get into it. Bad bars number two. MC on the right hand side. I'm so happy I still get to introduce him this weekend. He really is an absolute UK battle rap veteran and legend. My brother Shuffle T makes some noise! Yeah. And on the, on the left hand side, we last saw him on the 13th birthday. Now he's back two years later for the 15th anniversary. Bad Bars number two, MC number two. Please make it feel welcome. We got another legend, Marlo. Make some noise! Yeah. And yo, just so everybody knows out there, this battle was not co-written. These two do not know each other's bars. We agreed that right earlier on in the year. They do not know each other's lines. We chose off camera before we turned it on. The shuffle was going to kick it off. It is the 10 year anniversary. Bad bars number two. Let's go, bro. It's all good. I'm living my best life. He said two of the most important people in UK battle rap. 50% right. Thank you, though, man. Thank you. I wasn't that. No, I meant me. I meant me, though. 
know that you don't oh. even know that I meant me. That's <laughs> really <laughs> Last battle, I weren't that great. But this don't laugh. I need to <laughs> I weren't that great, but this jerk now just stinks. <laughs> It's like I've been exercising 60s rock bands. I worked out the kinks. So, so now, last time, really, you implied I was lame and a low specimen? <laughs> well, now it's like Calpol testing the flavour of their product. He's getting a taste of his own medicine. Him, I describe you as what the sun are. That's one star. It's like it's like you got into the tub with the Crips' enemies. That's a blood bath. And that ain't implying that you're soon to be a delicious accompaniment to a dessert. <laughs> but you're about to be cast hard. I'm sure of it. You beating me? That's like you wanting to be the star in your own biopic, which you shouldn't do. <laughs> Bulking powder in Hades, there's no way in hell. <laughs> you must admit to me though, bro, you are a little gay though. Which is ironic because I'm the one who's winning with flying colours, no rainbow. <laughs> oh no, I'm choking. Oh, Lee joking. <laughs> tell you that he's good. He'll be giving you trouble. Athlete's foot. You have a tiny... I hear on good authority you have a tiny penis. Women call it the pinprick. But you're watching... Don't. But you're... Don't. But you're watching the Jaguar from Tekken on the toilet. That means you're witnessing king shit. I haven't come to ruin your day. I've come to destroy your month. <laughs> you remind me of that TikToker who's into train spotting because you're a f***ing annoying <laughs> He's always on that crack pipe. He needs to be wrenched off him. He needs plumbing. Like Japanese porn, you won't see me he coming. <laughs> Japanese porn, that face should be pixelated. If we have teams, then anyone he picks will hate it. But, any but anyone I pick, elated. Hey yo, you think you can beat me? LOL! Well, it's, it's like I'm in the sky above with a chick I'd like to love, but I didn't try to shove my dick inside her muff. I don't give a flying f <laughs> Y'all are sleeping. <laughs> nah, but you're pretty skinny though, to be fair. You weigh about as much as a pair of follicles on a cow, to be fair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a wind-up merchant. No, I said I sell jack-in-the-boxes. I'm a wind-up merchant. No, I said, if you listen, that I... I'm Ricky Gervais annoying his writing partner. I'm a wind-up merchant. Listen, I said you're tiny. Okay, bear that in mind. You're tiny. I'll hit you so hard, you'll end up on my shirt. You'll wind up merch, Ant. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! He acts like 
like he's as strong as two rivers converging. But that ain't a fact. In fact, it's a con, virgin. <laughs> you stinky bro. <laughs> I can only describe it as body odour. And the force of it is so strong, I swear that it could body Yoda. <laughs> He doesn't write. He doesn't write his own. Sh he gets his mates with a pencil case. Whereas everything I ever say was made from scratch. No eczema flakes. <laughs> He's always travelling around the globe, sort of a nomad. You'd think that would make me happy for him. No, mad. <laughs> Television marketing for a garden ornament. That's a nomad. <laughs> Name Shuffle? No, I'm Ad. No, I'm Adam. Yeah, it does work. It does work. <laughs> you said you were great, no wall of China. <laughs> but you're a liar. Your pants are on all sorts of fire. <laughs> I'm a born survivor and story writer. You never perform a crime, bruh. Crime, bro. If you were a girl, which you basically are, your name, your name would be Laura Bider. <laughs> I saw your battle with Quill. <laughs> what a total shame. Stub an eyelash on a greasy finger. I wasn't blown away. <laughs> Chase you more than Jason Bourne and have you feeling blue in your hood? No, Ravenclaw. I didn't even bring up Ravenclaw. Why are we talking about speaking of Ravenclaw? <laughs> That is the house you'd be in, mate, of course. Cause you go out to clubs and get in cat fights, so all you do is rave and claw. <laughs> Admit it, you bitch. <laughs> He's a tourist! You don't belong here! He's from the aristocracy, whereas I'm here for the long haul like where Harry Potter is. <laughs> oh my God. If you think if you think he's beating me, you're wrong. You're what all the gingers wanted in Harry Potter. Moron! <laughs> Why won't I just let him win? I don't know. It's like I'm the guy in the school who brings the rules because it's the principal. Meghan Markle in a club. It's the prince I pull. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You are right there where right there isn't. Yeah. That's why we polarise like a white bear's vision. <laughs> <laughs> he wasted his time. Now he's poor, even though he went to university. I'm so rich, I've got a kettle so big, I'd make everyone in the university. <laughs> Even his kitchen counterfeit. He looks at the biggest thing he can fit on the arse, like, will this kitchen counterfeit? counterfeit. <laughs> that is the biggest thing. That is it's massive, that is. That's quite massive. Listen, no one is ever going to be bumping your music. You remind me of myself. You remind me of myself, except ugly and stupid. So you'll get lyrically punched. Yeah. In your lyrical head, uh. and then you're lyrically hunched, the ground is lyrically red. You'll get lyrically slumped into your lyrical bed. I'm saying lyrical Ooh. once, I'm now you're lyrically dead. dead. <laughs> Him beat me, really? With some of his whack bars? Obese people in a football singing, that's some fat chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fraud. Oh wait, I'm wrong. That's not what they meant when people pointed at me and said, I con. <laughs> I, I will shoot you in the head. Yeah, I am literally golden eye. 
I'm better by myself. I'm independent, like a picture of a soldier's wife. Oh. <laughs> oh. E sniffing drugs. Anyone can see that you smell E. Slow it down, didn't get it, dummy. I'm saying that you'll smell E, and you know that that's a fact because you'll smell E. <laughs> Your whack bars are trash. I hope that they're recyclable. <laughs> Would I describe you as a male cow? No. I wouldn't say you're like a bull. Change the game. Like deciding to play a different game. Jeez. But it's like when you and your mates question yourselves whilst eating a tiny morsel of a celebrity. Why did we taste a bit of fame? And I ain't having no flare-up of a speech impediment whilst trying to sing along with a popular 1970 hit song performed by the Spinners which was co-written by Stevie Wonder. I'm just trying to say that it's a shame! Cos you didn't impress a me much! Like, Sh like Shania Grant! Every bar you said in our last clash, slightly great. <laughs> slightly great. Too good for bad bars, like a dame with pricey taste. <laughs> 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 Though, because that wouldn't cure his weeing. 
How ironic! We left the EU and still... It's like I'm not free on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Cos you can come round Tuesday. <laughs> Catch me in a CEX buying one pound Blu-rays. So when I kick you, it's like a policeman with size 12s. Cos you can cop a big toe. Can't see me when I'm on my though like a frosted window. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I'm glad you lost your coat. <laughs> but how are you gonna cover the dumb stains, Shut? Cause Adam's a cause Adam's a sweaty boy like Eddie Roy, who's someone I just made up. That's why I've been hanging out with my wife and kid every night. Yeah! And a stumbling drunk late, bruv. How many times have I cheated on you, Adam? Twenty-two! You're a cuckety cock! A cock! <laughs> Yo! Yo! Oh, Adam, twenty-two! Yo! Yeah. It's like I'm introducing myself as an evil male human. Hi, I'm a wicked man! I love that three-piece band of sisters from California. Hi, I'm a wicked man! <laughs> this cricket pitch isn't regulation! Can you make it higher? My wicked man! <laughs> I'll rent you the eff I'll rent you the effigy I own if you need to burn a pagan. Hi, am I wicked? <laughs> all, the wheels, all the wheels about to fall off for you. Like, oh no, my car! <laughs> Coat so white! It spits coke so white bars. <laughs> Ladies call me Florence Pugh's dad bragging to his friends and friends. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ladies call me Florence Pugh's dad bragging to his friends and family after her first successful audition. The way my awesome flow was noticed. <laughs> became the biggest thing since sliced bread on the world's tallest loaf of Hovis. <laughs> so you know what rhymes with shuffle and Marlowe do bad bars for life because uh, uh, they're amazing and great and clever and funny? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but my talent is like how I'm not even remotely like the artist who sung the song Believe. I in no way share. <laughs> Sorry! But since you know I refuse to do a gig at a village fete, you should know I don't play fair. So, so if you see me on the street, miss me. Don't go, hey there. I do bear cocaine, like cocaine bear. See me? I'm a psycho that puts the birds in a frenzy. Hitchcock. I'm a psycho that puts the birds in a frenzy. Hitchcock. He's got a crush on Will Smith. Saw him slap Chris Rock, now he wants that Hitchcock. <laughs> I got that, I got that gun gun. <laughs> so when I put out a hit, shh, cock his back and blow his head off. Type his <laughs> See me? I'm a psycho that puts the birds in a frenzy. Hitchcock, he's got a crush on Will Smith. Saw him slap Chris Rock, now he wants that Hitchcock. I got that gun gun. So when I put out a hit, shh, cock him back and blow his head off. Tie this male chicken's body to the back of my trailer. That's a Hitchcock. <laughs> but we got there in the end, didn't we? No. Now we're bringing, now we're bringing this bad bar phenomenon back. Sure, it might be some tosh, but it's like, but it's, but it's like I've sent a letter to everyone here, seeing if they can come check out my timepiece. Because you're all invited to watch, and it's like I've rescued some, it's like I've rescued some chairs that are sponsored by a chewing gum manufacturer. Because I've saved extra seats. <laughs> It's a bad bar sequel. That's like an Australian person. <laughs> it's like a, 
It's a Fab Bars sequel. That's an Australian person commenting on a slender lady's lower half. That's a great legacy. <laughs> And that shit's great, legendary, like Tom uh, Hardy. You used to, you used to rock indie golden age block party. So, so is this love? Is this love? Is it Bob Marley? Cause I got, cause I got that cash. You know who's made a few Bob Marley? <laughs> to your dictionary fund. If that book didn't help me pre-nonce words correctly... <laughs> I want a diction refund. <laughs> so how are you the most popular of blokes? What sense does that make, Captain? It's like, it's like Hoffa when he chokes. The math ain't mathy. No. And in our last battle, you said, whilst out in Australia, what did you redo? Mm. That bar was too good, fam. But the truth is that, whilst out in Australia, I was on the phone to my nan. She called me and said, come back to the UK, Theo. So now you perhaps can see the move I planned. Yeah, I did go to Australia, but I came back to where I came from when that boomer rang. <laughs> Completely potty. It's like it's like it's like what I it's like what I instruct my toddler to do to get to the next level of toilet training. Also, we're French now. Completely potty. Yo, I'm done with this battle rap. I can't take the nerds. I will punch you all. Like people who aren't late for work. I don't. I can't take the nerds. I will punch you all. Like people who aren't late for work. I don't mean I put a red bug with black spots under a spell when I say I charm lady birds. I'm super like someone called Susan whose last name is Pearl. And Adam's so dumb. Adam is so dumb. He'll start laughing before his opponent has even finished what they rhyme. It's like a description of a pretty hot little fox behind. You're thick, so you crack up in the middle bottom line. That's my like one good bar in the back. Yo, so you a measly cotton ball. Beat me. Beating not at all. The writing's on the wall, like graffiti on a wall. So for, my, so for my last bar of this battle, I hope that everybody here is paying attention. It's been ten years. He's still cheesy and not matured. So you know I had to make a greater impression. There we go. There you have it. Have those two still got it? I think they've still got it, man. How they managed to come up with that many new word plays, I will never know, but I am not complaining anyway. We're keeping the laughs going from that one right into the next video. Coming up very soon, we have for you lot another treat. Sean Cray vs. Roars. Keep it locked. DFAFD. Let's go. Why do you know, like... Every white extended extra type has been on Albert Square for years and never died from computer. <laughs> the son of a man's man. Proper boy's boy. Such a block, I changed my pronoun to oi. Scar his face. His average joy got the heart through it and he can't be saved. So how they got him marking me? Austin is to have to mark his grave. <laughs> You might have seen a pub man before, but I'm a different type of mammal. My s*** <laughs> leave you lost for words like you're shite at Scrabble. <laughs>